Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is an I Am channel and I am Dakshamuti guys. So, today video I want to talk about an oranges. You don't think oranges is a wonderful fruit for everybody because everybody loves an oranges. Do you think it's oranges are the very healthiest fruits in the world and you don't know how healthy it is. So I got explain here so the video about the oranges and their health benefits, okay? The thing is this, orange. That's it. You gotta say the orange. Well, so let's begin to the video. We gotta talk about the oranges, health benefits, and then some special effects of the oranges, you know, the special char characters of the oranges. Yeah, that's the thing. So let's begin for a uh, video. First of all, the oranges are the most healthiest fruit in the world. Everybody knows that oranges has a uh, vitamin C. Yeah, the thing everybody loves that oranges. So it has a uh, beautiful taste, you know, the wonderful taste from just comes from the oranges. So every people in the world just eat that oranges. Um, and, and a lot of guys just eat the orange juice for a breakfast, okay? Drinking orange juice for a breakfast is the right thing, you know, think why? The vitamin C, orange contains now every day um, vitamins of vitamin C, okay? Do you think oranges contains the vitamin C? Yeah, that's right, vitamin C is good for your health and that it also has a vitamin A also, so just the thing. So, let's go for an, um, other health benefits of the oranges is oranges will help you to reduce your um, sugar levels yeah that's the thing oranges helps you to reduce your sugar levels and also helps you to give them um, lots of uh, benefits like uh, it's, it's, it just helps to your skin it helps to make your skin beautiful and it also makes your uh, um increases your immunity you know think oranges how helps you to immune increases your immunity guys because you don't think orange contains you know, lots of uh, good things so that's it so go for another thing oranges helps you to make you so active because it has a lot of um, vitamins in it. So best time to eat an orange is and, um, it's for uh, good for your snacks and it's good for your breakfast. Yeah, that's the thing. You just will eat, only eat an orange in the daytime because that has a uh, lot of benefits to you. So let's be good for an um, orange. Uh, another thing, the orange is important stuff is what happens if you eat an uh, orange too much, okay? Everybody eats an orange too much because it's very really healthy. So it has a lot of problems plus happens when you use an orange just um, too much so here we go for it oranges contains the potassium you know think the potassium yeah it's got a good for your health yeah even though the potassium is also contains in banana guys so the thing is if you're eating too much for oranges just gotta increase your potassium levels in your body you know think if the potassium level is increased you just go and affects your kidney so just eat an orange just moderate and correct level so if you eat too much it just affects your kidney because it contains a lot of potassium okay that's the thing so let's be good for another thing it's if you eat too much of oranges it just affects your intestine okay it just affects your intestine means you just get a whatever it's it's being an unbalance of your pH level in your stomach okay this leads to another diarrhea that's the thing it's the worst thing so don't eat an orange too much it helps you it just gives you another diarrhea and also gives an um, kidney damage too so that's the thing so here we talk about lots of things about an oranges in this video so that's it guys here's it yeah we know it oranges are one of the healthiest food in the world yeah that's the right stuff but the thing is, don't eat too much of oranges. Just use the correct amount of oranges and make your life healthy. And oranges gives you a good to your immune system, and it also increases your um, appetite. Uh, yeah, it helps you it's like good for your appetite. Okay, it increases your appetite, and it also gives you a wonderful vision. Okay, if you eat too much of oranges, it gives you a good, just good for your eyes too, and it's also good for your. Uh, uh, whatever it's it's good, good for your whole body thing okay it's a wonderful stuff because it's got it's, uh, lots of things so we love oranges just eat an oranges guys it's oranges gives you a good life it means oranges it's a very really healthiest food in this world so just eat the oranges and that's it guys here's the benefits of the oranges and also the lots of characters of the oranges so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm the shamati design for you guys see you in the next video Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an Infodi channel and I'm Dakshamati guys. Today's video I gotta talk about the health benefits of the pineapples, guys. In this video, we talked about lots of health benefits about the pineapple because the thing is, guys, the pineapple contains a lot of uh, vitamins, okay? It contains a list of tons of tons of vitamins. So I got listed here, it's been a long thing. So I just warned the thing is it's contains a lot of vitamins like the B6, B12, and, and contains a vitamin A and the vitamin D too. So D, vitamin D. So these things are very great and we are gonna move on to another thing. It's about the pineapples major thing what it is it's me called being a very important thing what it is it just reduces the risk of the cancer okay because the pineapple contains uh, lots of uh, vitamins so it just helps you to prevent you from the cancer it just protect your cells from the cancers so it's just a good thing so let's be go for another thing is pineapples 
most important thing it contains an antioxidant in that thing what is the purpose of the antioxidant it just reduces your oxidative stress on your cells so that's the great stuff so we enjoy only eating the pineapple so that's it guys so let's be good for now move on to another thing it just helps you to reduces your muscle soreness you know think of muscle soreness yeah everybody feels the muscle soreness when you got doing an exercise in the gym okay the gym exercises yeah if you go for a gym you just need a recovery so in this thing pineapple helps you to speed up your recovery for purpose guys so let's go for for another thing what it is yeah man the thing is it just reduces your uh, risk of heart disease okay it just helps you to reduce your risk of heart disease because the heart disease are the bad thing it just helps you to protect from that arthritis so it just prevent you from the arthritis guys so let's go for another thing what it is it just helps you in your intestine guys you know thing intestine yeah everybody is important organ is intestine because why we know it guys it just helps the digestive process okay digestive process is done in intestines so the thing is this pineapple helps you to improve your digestive enzymes the thing it's a very great okay it just prevent you from the digestion problems it just reduces to your digestion problems it just prevent you from the Digestive enzyme. Okay, guys, that's it, guys. Like that, I thought says that everything. Yeah, let's begin a list of things. These are the health benefits of the pineapples, guys. What are the health benefits? Means it just reduces you from the inflammation. Okay, yeah, great stuff. It reduces your inflammation. It reduces your muscle soreness and increases your immune power and increases your digestive enzymes. And it also helps you to prevent from your cancer and arthritis. That things are sort of the pineapples most best important health benefits yes i believe that guys this video is going to help you to help you to about know about the pineapples okay i think that i believe that you enjoyed this video and this is an info channel if you like this video just subscribe it and see you next video guys hello everyone welcome to my channel this is an info channel i am dakshamati guys so today's video i'm going to talk about some health benefits of the watermelon you know think watermelon it's one of the tastiest fruits around in the world because you just want to eat it the thing that's it guys so here we talks about the uh, watermelons. Yeah, everybody is very favorite fruit. You know, think what's the favorite means? It's being uh, tasty, so good. So that's the thing. Everybody loves this thing. Okay. So let's begin into this video. We gonna talk about the uh, lots of health benefits about the uh, watermelon. You know, think watermelon. It's being a uh, very low calorie, tasty food. But the thing is, the fruit is being uh, so tons of vitamins and minerals. You know, think what kind of vitamins get they present in this watermelon? Here's the thing, is guys. The watermelon contains an vitamin C, vitamin A, magnesium, and potassium. Contains okay, this is our current present in that watermelon. So, the heads it, guys. You know, that how much percent can be present in this watermelon? Yeah, I got listed some of this vitamins here by the percentage wise. So, that's the thing, okay, guys. The vitamin C present in this watermelon is at 21%, okay. And the vitamin A contains an 18%, and the potassium is 5%, magnesium is 4%, okay. This is the stuff just presents in the watermelon. So if you eat this thing, you just gotta get this lots of vitamins to your body. So that's it, guys. Let's be go for another thing. What's the another benefit for this fruit is it contains uh, reduces your uh, inflammation. You know, thing inflammation is the key for the most of diseases. That's the so bad stuff. So here's the thing of the watermelon. It just can reduces your inflammation. Okay, that's great, guys. And it also contains a lot of antioxidants. You know, thing antioxidants it kind of helps you to prevent a uh, Lots of diseases okay that's the thing it just uh, helps you to protect your cells it just produces production to the it just gives a production from that oxidative stress to your cells that's it guys so let's be more to the another health benefit what it is means it just reduces your muscle soreness guys okay that's the very great stuff uh, watermelon helps you to reduce your muscle soreness okay that means you just get uh, so great you know yep so let's be more on the what the other benefit of this uh, eating in the watermelon is it's just gonna get for your uh, digestion yeah that's it guys yeah that's one of the best thing about the watermelon it just reduces you and uh, it just reduces your digestive problems okay it just helps you to it just promotes your digestion okay that's the very great stuff to about the watermelon so it's uh, great it okay let's figure for another thing what is the animal one health benefit is it's so crazy but it's real okay it, you just you just believe the thing what i have to tell now it's it's really great stuff guys you should just go and check it watermelon helps you to prevent you from the cancers you know think the cancer is not the bad disease but this watermelon just helps you to prevent from that cancer so that's that's a very great and it's also helps you to protect your heart too that's the thing about some watermelon guys so these are the health benefits of about some watermelon. So I believe that if this video just helps you to know about the lots about your favorite fruit, watermelon. Yeah, here's the summer starts. You just go and eat on a watermelon, guys. 
and it's also a yeah, very low calorie tasty food so that's also great okay it contains a lot of uh, good stuff like uh, but the major thing is it just hydrate your body that's the one of the main thing about the watermelon i believe guys i enjoy this video and you also enjoy these videos too so i say it's about a lot of health benefits about your favorite fruit watermelon so that's it guys and if you like this video just share and subscribe to this channel and i'm the Shamuti and this is the info channel guys and see you next video hello everyone welcome to my channel this is the 940 channel i am the shamati guy so today's video i want to talk about you know, peanuts you know they get peanuts everybody loves the peanuts because then you eat on a peanut for every day because it just be gone be very tasty so the tastiest food in the world is in a peanut so let's hear in this video we gotta talk about you know, health benefits of the peanuts you know the peanuts yeah i gotta break down the secrets of the peanuts here guys so let's get into the video so first of all you know the peanuts it has an app lots of things as you know thing it uh, it contains a uh, potassium magnesium vitamin b and also has some healthy fats and fibers and proteins too so let's we get into the video here's the peanuts important steps guys so you don't think the peanuts it has a lot of uh, fats and polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats these things are good for your health so let's begin to the thing you know think how many peanuts will you eat okay that's the biggest question for every people and how much it's healthy how much makes you an unhealthy thing yeah here we get a say about the things is what is the healthiest thing healthiest qualities of the peanuts here guys so the healthiest thing of the peanuts is if you eat at 100 gram of proteins you know thing it contains only in a few sources from non veggies but here peanuts contains a lot of protein stuff you know thing if you eat in a 100 gram of peanuts it contains enough 567 calories that is the great amount of calories guys this could be chilled by the American, so, you know, thing American Heart Associations. You know, the American Heart Association says about that a peanuts is good for your health. So, you everybody eats in a peanuts, it is good for your health. You know, thing how much amount? Yeah, you eat in a, you know, the recommended amount of the peanuts is every people, it's in a 100 gram of peanuts. You know, the 100 gram of peanuts contains in a 567 calories. Okay, 567 calories. And these calories has a low in carbohydrates, high in fats and proteins. You know, think proteins. How much proteins could get present in this 100 gram of peanuts? Yeah, it's a big question. So I always say that uh, if you eat 100 gram of peanuts, it contains a 28.5 gram of protein. Okay, that's the moderate amount of protein, guys. You know, the how much protein is need for an everyday life for uh, every human? Yeah, for man. Every day, every day humans are needs enough proteins for it to be a balanced diet. Those that we now we love the proteins. So how many proteins, you know, how much proteins we are eat here for an every day? So I roughly say about that things. But here I say about statistic data. So doctor associations, doctors from the World Health Organization, every people says that how much proteins is need for our human body for an every single day. For a man everybody needs in a 56 gram of proteins for a woman you know everybody needs in a 64 gram of proteins so these are the more record amount of proteins guys so here is that 100 gram of peanuts contains 28 gram of protein so that's it proteins which is essential so it's contains in peanuts so peanuts are good for your health so next thing is be about some fats you know think fats out oh, peanuts have a lot of fats people say that that i know the thing yeah but peanuts sometimes are a lot of healthy fats you know the healthy fats peanuts contains a lot of healthy fats it contains and polyunsaturated fat and monounsaturated fats these fats are so good so this good for your heart and also it just prevents you from the strokes so that's the thing we eat in our peanuts so this is chilled by the american heart association so they're just the guys so so you know something about so the united states department of agriculture it says about that 100 gram of peanuts contains 5-6 gram of calories so that's it so let's we talk about you know, fibers you know think fibers are very essential for our human body so peanuts contains a lot of fibers you know think fibers yeah man fibers peanuts contains a very important and record amount of proteins and also contains a record amount of fibers that's the thing guys so we eat enough peanuts it contains a lot of fibers too so what are the health benefits of eating peanuts yeah and i already says that peanuts contains enough proteins and an um, Lots of tough stuff is like you know, vitamin D, potassium, phosphorus, you know, that's the thing. This is a lot. This so it contains you know, proteins, fats, and fibers. So what is the purpose of eating these things? Is, yeah, it just helps you to maintain a you know, healthy body weight. Yeah, it just helps you to maintain a healthy body weight, guys. That's so important. So it also reduces your blood sugar levels. That's a very great thing. And also controls your blood pressures. Okay, that's the stuff you are allowed to eat in a peanuts. 
So that's it guys, peanuts are most essential, healthiest food in the world. So we must eat the peanuts and just be like good for your health. Just take your peanuts for your diet for every day. That's so simple. That's it guys. I believe that you enjoyed this video and this video says about lots of birds on the peanuts. I hope it guys and thanks for watching this video. I'm Daksha Murthy. This is an info channel. Okay. If you like this video, just watch and subscribe and share this video. See you next video. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an info channel and I'm Daksha Murthy guys. So today's video we gotta talk about so the antioxidants. You know, I think antioxidants, everybody heard that word antioxidants for nutrition things as okay. Just go for a nutrition area. Antioxidants is one of the most um knowing word in this world. Think okay, you don't think what is an antioxidant and how to use it. So how what's the purpose of the antioxidants? Yeah. Here's the, all the questions I had here to answer you for this. So just understand this guys. I'm here to answer for you guys about the antioxidants. So just hear it. I gotta say it now. So first thing is the name oxidation. Okay, you know, think your human body has an um, lots of human cells. You know, thing it has a contains a lot of blood cells. Okay, these blood cells are getting oxidative. So the oxidation is not good for your health. It means it got damages your cells and it creates a lot of health problems. So that's the thing. It's called an oxidation. So if you use the antioxidant helps you to prevent that cell from oxidation. Okay, or slow the oxidation process slow down the oxidation process so these things helps you to make you healthy so that's it guys so how did that oxidation happens in our body you know i think that has a lot of factors um for uh, oxidation happens in our body so let's think about it sometimes yeah it's observed it just happens to your due to your unhealthy food habits okay if you eat unhealthy foods it just creates an oxidative stress on your cells and it just gives you an uh, Oxidative stress in your body, it's creates an oxidation. The number two factor is the another factor is so simple, and you understand the thing. What is that? The pollution, guys. You know, I think the pollutions are creates an oxidative stress on your cells. Okay, the pollutions, the UV rays, and the cigarette smokes. You know, things cigarette smokes. Yeah, these things just are affects your human body, and these things gonna affects your cells, creates an oxidative stress, okay? This oxidative stress is so bad, it creates an oxidation. So here we come for an antioxidant. This helps to prevent that oxidation process in your body cell. That's it. What are the antioxidants? Yeah, you know, think, you don't want to know about what are the antioxidants is. The, the antioxidants things are really it's good, okay? So here's that. Vitamin C and vitamin E are the best antioxidants, okay? You know, thing further about the antioxidant. The antioxidants represents a lot of leafy vegetables and fruits, okay? Antioxidants represents a lot of leafy vegetables and fruits, just helps you to prevent from the oxidation. So that's the thing about antioxidants. So the antioxidants contains in coffee, green tea, and also has some fruits, um, like I don't know, it has the spinach and kale. These things are antioxidant foods, okay? These foods helps you to prevent you from the oxidation stress. So this is uh, the antioxidants. This, if you eat these foods, you may become more healthy. Okay, that's it, guys. And um, I believe that this video gonna help you to understand what are the antioxidants and how it's an oxidation. Okay, that's it, guys. And um, believe that this is the antioxidant, guys. And I believe that this video is gonna help you to understand the antioxidants, health benefits, and also the uh, some of the good things. Okay, that's it, guys. And I'm happy to give this video. And these videos are so great. And I believe that you enjoy this video. If you like this video, just subscribe to this channel and. I'm the Shabhati and this is an Infoli channel. See you next video guys. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm the Shamati. So today we gotta talk about a balanced diet. You know, think everybody in the world just asks about a balanced diet because you know think everywhere you go, there's a lot of people gonna gain a lot of weights in this world. You know, it's been an obesity for a while. Yeah, it's been a country thing. So every gay people become an obesity or obese, you know, think some people go to underweight. So these things are just be a common in this world. Nowadays. So since we go for a very interesting topic, it's be about a balanced diet. You know, think balanced diet is one of the perfect diet in this world. Okay, everybody will be suggested to get a follow this type of diet. So let's be thinking about it. What's a balanced diet? You know, think there is a very easy stuff. So it's all about your calories and a foods. Okay, think all about the calories means uh, what type of calories you just say it's about. I say it's about a good calories, not about the empty calories. I not talk about anything about the empty calories. I just talk about only uh, good calories. You know, think good calories, it's uh, proteins, fats, you know, carbs, and this type of things. It's gonna be gives and meats and a beautiful calories thing, okay? Let's be go for our uh, calories. What's the perfect calorie for an uh, every, every people? So, you know, think what is that? 
the perfect calorie for an average people it's very important thing you know you already asked that what's that a perfect uh, yeah it's a new word i gotta use it here to the perfect calorie but it's already all right you know thing so i just gonna use this thing today so let's we go for our calories what's an maintenance calories for an everybody so the study shows that the perfect calorie for an everybody is in a 2000 calories and the acumen it's in a 2500 calories it's a perfect calories and everybody wants to maintain these calories so just to think guys so let's we go for a balanced diet the number one question is what's in a balanced diet you want to know about that answer what's in a balanced diet and how could we use these things just watch this video till the end guys and i just been a perfect video for you guys and i hope that thanks so let's we go for another thing it's a what's a balanced diet you know the balanced diet it consists of your five main things is what is that it's uh gonna be listed now that okay just guys you know five important major things included for the calories so these things is for the balanced diet so number one is in a protein two is in a carbs and you know i think protein and carbs are so essential for everybody and you know veggies fruits and fat you use and nuts for the fats so these things are common for a balanced diet. So everybody think about kind of fruits. It's a healthy thing. Yeah, fruits are healthy when you eat kind of fresh and raw, or you just drink kind of pure juices. So if you're gonna buy you know, lots of juices from the stores or somewhere, it can have lots of preservatives and uh, lots of bad stuff that's in your thing. So it's not good for your health. So just with stay fit with the pure juicy things. Is okay. So let's be safe that. The proteins, you know, the proteins, what's the main source of proteins? Proteins are the two things, you know, proteins are good for your health and also maintain you in a very perfect state. And the thing is, you just eat a protein, so moderate and balanced level. So that's what we call in a balanced diet. So what are the proteins is are um, protein containing foods? There are the two things. One is in a beans, beans contain lots of proteins. And all is in a, everybody know about the thing. It's being a protein that's present in the meats, you know, I think red meat, chickens, and this kind of stuff. So that's just mix it with enough proteins. And these foods contain a lot of proteins, so you're just gonna eat it to think for your daily life to be in a healthy. So let's we go for our carbohydrates. Yeah, carbohydrates are a um, good thing, you know. There is a very important for everybody, but you say it has kind of um, refined carbs, so it's not good for your health. So just we gonna stay away from the refined carbs. Just eat in a pure carbs, you know, the pure carbs in a um, water that it's an um, unrefined carbs and uh, it's been a good for your health it not increase your sugar levels too so what are the good carbs is are you know like quin quinine you know the oats brown rice that kind of stuff is gonna be a good carbs and this not help you to gain your fat and this helps you to maintain your sugar levels also so that's it guys so let's we go for another thing what it's about and fruits next we go for our veggies oh no veggies are the good thing but everybody does not like to eat because why it, it's not good it's not it taste it's not very good so every people that we avoid these things is that at least just eat a good veggies like in a kale spinach that type of steps and it's also gonna good so let's we go move for another thing what is enough fats you know fats are very Lots of type of fats and good fats are think saturated fat and saturated fats. The unsaturated fats are good, not bad. You think lots of guys say this type of stuff, but here's the right thing: is unsaturated fat is so bad, guys. So don't eat that unsaturated fats. So good fats are be in a saturated fat. This is present in almonds, cashews, and you know think um olive oils, that type of stuff. Okay, so go for an app calcium containing foods is like some minerals and vitamins these things are present in veggies so we're just gonna eat these things is. and you know think proteins are fixed in this um meats and beans is think is okay so let's we go for an, uh, another thing what first that is proteins fats and veggies fruits let's the another thing what is that um yeah there is a uh, very important thing just avoid the empty calories what's an empty calories empty calories is an amount of thing it just gives you lots of energies but it's not containing any amount of proteins fats let's say zero calories i mean zero calories means zero things is in the calories what does that means um example this is alcohol cakes muffins you know thing and um donuts these things are empty calories that's only give on a weight and not contain any healthy amount of sources of foods okay what is that um not any healthy amount of sources are present in these empty calories so the empty calories are so bad and it's like a kind of stuff to make you know, fat okay it's not good for your health so just stay and stick with a balanced diet this is the balanced diet guys 
balanced diet means you're just gonna eat these things with moderate amount and balanced things so let's get it guys you just be stick with the balanced diet this balanced diet will help you to make you on a fit healthy lifestyle so this is balanced diet guys you know think what are this i say is that all the components about the balanced diet all the foods about the balanced diet just stick with that and if you want to lose weight just do and exercise with it so you just be able to do it just be enough fit and you want to gain weight just eat and improve on calories intake slightly and these foods are very important and this is a balanced diet guys i hope you guys this video gonna help you to become a good person you know think and a healthy person so I'm happy to give this type of videos to you guys and if you want more videos just subscribe to this channel and I'm the with you guys and see you in the next video. Hello everyone welcome to my channel this is an infoli channel and I'm Dakshan with you guys. So today's video I gotta talk about some fasting you don't think fasting yeah, everybody loves to do the fasting because it has a lot of health benefits you know thing in this video I gotta talk about some health benefits of the fasting you know the fasting are lots of types okay if you do for a first fasting is one of the good thing for your health okay. So if you start a fasting, just consult your doctor and get your doctor's advice before you go for the fasting. So here we say about the health benefits of the fasting. So guys, uh, there are listed lots of health benefits for doing a fasting. So here is it guys, I got a list of now. So number one fasting health benefit is what it is guys, it's so simple. Um, it just controls your blood sugar, okay? Yeah, fasting helps you to control your blood sugar. It's just good for your health. So that you, that's what I'm gonna say it now. So next thing is, it just helps you to reduce your inflammation. I think inflammation is reduced during this fasting, okay? Fasting helps you to reduce your inflammation thing. So it's just kind of good for your health. So it's also reduces your oxidative stress. You know, I think oxidative stress, it's also bad for your health. So the fasting helps you to reduce the oxidating stress, okay? That was a great, okay? So let's we go for another health benefit is everybody know the thing. Fasting helps you to your weight loss. You know, I think weight loss, yeah. Fasting helps you to reduce your weight loss, you know, thing, uh, reduce your weight loss means I just talk about it, it helps you to promote your fat loss thing, okay. If you do want to fasting properly, it helps you to improve your fat loss and also improves your weight loss, okay, thing, yeah, that was a great, so, you know, thing, what is the another benefits of the fasting is, yeah, I had a big list about the benefits of the fasting, so I just still start some of the health benefits of this fasting here in this video, so just watch it guys, don't of this video okay just watch this thing okay so here we go for another thing is just concentrate our video so just another thing what it is means it just helps you to improve your growth hormone yeah that was amazing stuff you know the human growth hormone yeah that was great so fasting helps you to promote improves your growth hormone thing so growth hormone increases what just the benefit means it just improves your muscle strength okay that was great and also increases your metabolism so so health health benefits of the fasting is it just helps you to maintain a healthy body so that's the fasting is great okay so next we go for another health benefits about a fasting it's so simple and it's also so important thing okay fasting helps you to prevent from cancer okay it just helps you to prevent from cancer these are the things of the health benefits of the fasting so i listed the things for you guys just understand the things these are the health benefits of the fasting and i enjoy i this video so you also enjoy this video too so I'm happy to see you guys and this video is so great and you enjoy this channel i know that thing just subscribe to this channel this is an infodi channel and i'm the shamati guys see you next video hello everyone welcome to my channel this is an infodi channel and i'm the shamati guys so today's video i gotta talk about um uh, healthy foods for no livers you know thing livers the most important organ in our body so we just gonna talk about so now healthy foods for no liver so that's it guys so um if you want to know about this foods just watch this video i gotta say it's about it so here we go there are the lots of foods for your livers so the li good good foods of your livers is listed here in this video so just get it and watch it guys okay so first food for our liver is in a coffee you know think coffee yeah you just get everybody guys just drink a coffee for a day i think yeah everybody drinks in a couple of cups for a coffee for a day but the thing is coffee is good for your liver so that's the thing so it's happiest thing so ever so just drinking a coffee just good for your liver so that's the thing so next food is for your liver is an oatmeal you know think the oatmeal yeah oatmeals are the good food for your liver so um, it just reduces your inflammation and makes your liver so good because you know thing liver needs a lot of fibers so fiber foods just purify your blood and it just helps you to liver make you healthy that's the thing the next food for your liver is an very interesting stuff what it is it's an a garlic man you know think garlic yeah garlic are the good food for lots of things you know it's garlic have a lot of uh, medicinal properties you know i think it's just good for your 
various uh, problems but the thing is it's just good for your liver so if you want to make your liver so healthy just eat an garlic per day each clove that's the thing so next thing is we and a liver is an a uh, yeah it's very good organ so that's the thing it the next food for the liver is um just guess it guys what it is yeah it's so simple next food for good for your liver is an a banana you know think banana it has a lot of potassium the stuff is the potassium are the goodest 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 thing for your liver and whole body and i especially for it everybody love to eat in a banana so this is a good for your liver so just keep eating the little banana guys so next thing is for in a liver food good food healthy food for a liver is very interesting what it is yeah it's an a grapefruit grapefruits are good for your liver so just take a grapefruit and it also an a um, fruits like in a cranberries blueberries this things also are good for your livers so that's it guys and you know something what about and um, other foods um, yeah here's the foods i listed that's good for your liver the foods are so simple i listed them that is an um, coffee oatmeal banana and an um, grapefruit and something called be an um, blueberry that's the stuff that's good sir that's a good for your livers so here we come for a very interesting stuff what are the foods you want to avoid okay these foods i got a list of now it's about some good foods for your liver now i gotta say it's about some avoiding food these foods you just gotta avoid it for your diet it just makes your liver so healthy it's a good for your liver too the foods first food for we avoiding or the thing is be simple so the first food for the the way you must avoid is it's a salt you know think yeah reduce your salt amount because it's just good for your health so and it's just good for your liver too so liver health is based upon your salt so just reduce your salt and next thing is that a sugar yeah reduce your sugar too the sugar and salt are the most bad thing for your liver so now here's the thing is which reduces the sugar and salt it's just good for your liver and the next thing is for your liver is uh, we just need to avoid uh, uh, what it is that it's so simple um it is a very interesting thing what it is is you know think the next food is it is an a uh, starchy foods you know the starchy foods are bad for your liver yeah i got a list of what are the starchy foods are these foods you must gonna avoid it okay what are the things is it's a pasta cakes and baked fruits it's also yeah bad for your liver you just gotta cut it yeah i know it you just it's so tough to cut that cakes you know the cakes are the yummiest things we love it cakes yeah i also love to eat on a cakes but the thing is just reduces the more rate amount of on a cake that's the thing so another food for your uh, bad for your health is it's a so, so simple what it is and um, it's a um, very good food and we must avoid that thing what is it? it's a fatty foods junk foods these things is are bad for your liver so we must avoid that extra sugar extra salt and you know fatty foods and for the fatty foods means that like junk foods and chips just like stuff this and another one is that um starchy foods like in you know, a pastas and cakes baked fruits so these are the bad for your liver so that's it guys so i also i get listed that a good food for your liver and also a bad food for liver so good foods are simple it's a uh, uh, you know thing what it is it's a uh, coffee oatmeal fish oil and olive oil just and then uh, um grapefruit and there's a blah blueberry and grapes and that things is already good for your health and that's great and one of the most dangerous food for our liver we must avoid the thing what's the food it's an alcohol you know thing alcohol it just leads to your and a fatty liver and such a bad things as to your liver so you just need to control or cut that alcohol from your diet that's the thing that's one of the best a food you need to avoid it okay that's the thing just cut out the alcohol guys and cut out the sugar salts and then start your foot us okay just moderate amount it okay that's the thing and that's it guys i believe that you just enjoyed this video and i may think it's just helpful to you and your liver okay i thought that thing that our video is good so i hope that you enjoyed this video and you want to more, like just think about it yeah that's a good video so if you like this video just subscribe to the channel this is an info day and i'll be sure with you guys and see you next video Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an info the channel and I am Dakshamati guys. So today um, it's been a long time to be making videos like this, so I will talk to you. So it's been a very good time to see you guys again. So today's video is about you know, push-ups. You know something? Push-ups, yeah, it's one of the basic exercises for an average person, every people to get involved in the bodybuilding. They must know about the how to do an push-ups. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the push-ups, benefits, and 
something there about how to take up push-ups okay i've done a push-ups because there are guys just at the starting point but they will try it but they want to know how to do the push-ups right it's correctly at the beginning of the stage so here we i am to teach you how to do one of push-ups okay that's the thing so let's watch it guys in this video we talk about the benefits of push-ups and the techniques of the push-ups i will teach you how to do one of push-ups okay let's see it guys let's get in the video stay tuned just watch it yep Okay guys, here's I just do the push-ups, how to do the push-ups, just watch the thing, okay, I just already done it, okay. So let's be serious about the benefits of the push-ups, yeah, benefits of the push-ups are very great, you know, then push-ups makes you improve your posture, it makes you straight, okay, it just helps you to make your posture very good and it also helps you to make for, uh, get a perfect body, okay, that's the great stuff, okay, and it's just a, uh, um, you know, doing the push-ups, you just it has helps you to do lots of things. It's okay, it's just gonna improve your whole body strength and the whole body posture. Okay, that's the very very benefits of the push-ups. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, push-ups helps you to improve your weight loss and lose your body fat percent, and it also helps you to develop your muscles. Okay, like you know, chest muscles and your arms and your thighs and you know something. It's about your leg muscles, you know, like thighs muscles and calves. These things are very helpful. Okay, this. Muscle groups are worked under the exercise called it a push-ups. Okay, if you just do on a push-ups every day, it gives you a perfect body and it may help you guys. So that's it, guys. Um, this is the benefits of the push-ups, and I hope that you enjoy this video. So um, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want more videos like this, just subscribe to this channel, Info D, and I'm the Shamuti guys. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an Info D channel. I'm the Shamuti guys. So today's video I'm gonna talk about some pumpkins, guys. You know, I think pumpkins are some of the good food for every human body because where you eat this pumpkin from every single day, it makes makes you a good. Yeah, that's the thing. It's one of the healthiest foods around this world, so just wanna eat these things, okay? So pumpkins contain you know, lots of antioxidants, vitamins, and that contains a lot of things to your body. It makes you healthy, okay? So that's the thing. So here we talks about that. If you eat in a 250 gram of pumpkin, it means in a cup of pumpkin, it contains only in a 50 calories. That means it what just says that it just a good food for your weight loss. It's in a weight loss friendly food, dietary food, whatever you say. That was a good thing. So let's we talks about so now. Another thing, it contains a lot of vitamin E, guys. You don't think the vitamin A, the vitamin E contains in a Good things is because it contains in this pumpkin it contains our vitamin A and vitamin E it contains the iron and the folate okay these things are good okay this kind of helps you to body to make it good things is, okay let's be talk about another thing what it is now it contains a lot of antioxidants you know the antioxidants yeah the pink antioxidants it's one of the great stuff around this world because why I gonna say that thing is because this antioxidants helps you to prevent you from free radicals flow in your body so it does free radicals what did happen to your body what just gives you to your body i can't think the fry i gotta say that the free radicals it contains um, a lot of bad stuff to just damage your cells okay it just be prevented by eating a pumpkin because it contains antioxidants guys so that's what i say is that in this video pumpkins contains the antioxidants so another thing is pumpkins contains what the thing is you don't want to know that thing it contains a lot of good um, you don't think what worse that is it contains a lot of um, antioxidants I already say that it also contains a lot of um, alpha keratin and beta keratin things is okay worse that thing it just helps you to prevent you from cancer yeah pumpkin says that what I say it means pumpkin contains a good source of uh, vitamins and minerals and antioxidant substances so that's the, what i say is that it may helps you to prevent you from the cancer okay that's the thing guys so i say it's about that pumpkins are good yeah it's just good for your weight loss it's good for your uh, vitamin a things is okay it just it connects a lot of vitamin a it helps you to fulfill your vitamin a deficiency so another thing is vitamin a helps you for an eyes okay that's the thing what i'm gonna say is that here so these are the healthy benefits of these vitamins, guys. Okay, vitamins of the pumpkins. Okay, what I say that thing is it is the health benefits of the pumpkin. So you can eat that pumpkin, make your healthy life. Okay, that's what I gotta say is it here, guys. So 
that's it guys this video is gonna help you to understand the health benefits of the pumpkin okay if you want more videos to subscribe to this channel this is an infertility channel okay guys see you next video hello everyone welcome to my channel this is an infertility channel i'm the shambhati guys so today's video i'm gonna talk about an olive oil you know i think olive oil is one of the greatest thing around in the world because everybody eat that olive oil so let's be serious about an olive oil how it's made from yeah all the oils are made from then uh, olive fruits you know thing you just get that only from that only fruits okay so let's be talk about the thing when it made you know the how it was yeah here we say it's about olive oils are used by the humans thousands of thousands of years ago so that's the very great stuff so let's be talk about the health benefits it has a tons of health benefits so that's why i'm gonna say in this video so to watch that video and i'm gonna say the things guys so here we go so what are the main health benefits of olive oil guys it contains the um, monounsaturated fats you know i think monounsaturated fat is one of the greatest thing in that oil olive oil so these things are good for your health okay so it's also good in antioxidants you know i think antioxidants are just present in that olive oil it just helps you to make your good okay it just destroy the free radicals in your blood so it's just gonna good thing okay let's we talk about another thing is it's very interesting what is that is olive oil is an um great for an uh, vitamin e and vitamin k resources okay they think olive oil contains an vitamin e and vitamin k just good for your health so let's be talk about another thing is what was it it means and a very interesting olive oil is going to help you to get out from that thing called and a very great what was that it is and a your blood pressure okay it just controls your blood pressures and it also controls prevents the diabetes to type diabetes okay it just prevent you from the a second type of diabetes so that's the thing that's what i'm gonna say is it here so olive oil has also a rate of an um, antibacterial skills so getting antibacterial yeah that's a great thing it just destroys the bacteria around in your body so that's a very great stuff so what i'm gonna say is here and that about an olive oil so let's be serious so another thing about the olive oil is it's also great okay it just has a high anti-inflammatory properties so it is good for your bones too that's it guys these are the health benefits of the olive oil that's what i'm gonna say in this videos i believe that you enjoy this video and see you next video guys Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an info channel and I'm Daksham with the So today's video we're gonna talk about the New Year's party eve. Okay, here's the New Year's just coming, so we just want to know about the party techniques, okay? You just gotta you just can't open that thing, it's like an anomaly, okay? It's a very special thing for everybody. So here we talk about the New Year party tips. I gotta say about how to rocking your party and decorate your parties, okay? He's in a one of the best tips I ever giving to you now. So just stick this video till the end, guys. Okay, let's we get into the video. So you can't just pop the bottle and say it's a night. It's it's just not a right thing because you know thing we just want to celebrate it. We just gonna express ourselves here through these decorations. So we just bold over the decorations. We just go for a bold in the decorations of the New Year dinner party. Okay, so just we get into the video. First thing is gonna. Um, in every party, we just gonna use this stuff, photo booth, okay, this photo booth is, is uh, it's kind of old stuff, okay, so now we gonna use the holographic balloon background on it, okay, that's one of the rarest and latest thing, you just gonna rocking your party, so use this thing on your backdrop using a holographic balloon photographic thing, okay, it's just, you know, very rocking style, so go and check in the internet, you just gonna find a lot of balloon holographic things, okay, that's the best for our party, so number two is an, uh, what do you think about it's yeah that's amazing you know the dinner table you know the dinner table for a uh, new year's party um you gotta use this metallic dinner thing so you saying you just gonna mix up with the metallic skills on the dinner tables and we just use it um um lots of colors like purple and metallic is the perfect combination for a royal look to your party dinners so that's a great thing so just use a metallic and purple colors for a party so let's be getting to the another thing it's what was that called it's an a uh, drinks yeah you just gonna fix that a uh, champagne bar you're just gonna will like it so just just set a champagne bar so for a thing you like it just use this thing to the potty just mock the potty just rock up the things just. so let's we go for another thing what is that it's about and a uh, very special it's gonna sweets okay just gonna spike the sweets mimosa with this you know i think the sweets are very interesting for our every parties so we just try a new sweets okay just like a new sweets um so i'm just gonna try it guys okay so let's me go for another thing what was that is um don't use it a fork and spoon so because nobody want to like to use this thing as in a party okay you just in a very special party when you just go for a dancing getting things is all very rocky in this party so why are you gonna use it now 
four kinds of spoons in this party because nobody want to like it so just using a fancy food in a bite size just use a tooth stick on it the food you just gotta keep this food with a tooth stick and it's like a biteable stuff just eat things it's like in a um, barbecue you know think that's what great stuff so i would ever like this things is so these are the things is guys just gonna rock up the party so final step is very important let's be serious about some uh, games you know this party games is yeah we are just playing a lot of party games so it's gonna be crazy party games but here's the special thing about this games is guys you just party we just want to enjoy ourselves so I prefer only two games, board games and card games. Just switch these two games on this all over the party. It's enjoying your new party from over, okay? So you just want to enjoy the party, just using up board games and card games, just switching these things, as, okay? So for final is balloons, you know, the party balloons. Yeah, here we're allowed to blow up the party balloons. So just blow up the giant party balloons in your party. It's make this party so rocking. And don't forget to use a TJ, okay? TJ dancing party has got a beautiful thing to your party. These are the tips guys for a uh, new year party so just fix these things as, and you're just gonna enjoy rocking your new party stands okay just use it guys and um, this is the thing for a uh, new year party tips for okay just i just give you the most precious party tips to you guys so these are the things as, just uh, these are the tips for a uh, new year party so enjoying your party guys and this is an uh, info day i'm the shaman with you guys and subscribe to the channel share this video see you next video Hello everyone, welcome to the Frozen 2 review. So everybody love to watch enough Disney movies, you know, thank you. Yeah, Disney is one of the best movie creators in the world. Yeah, we gotta know it, thank you. So let's be talk about the Frozen 2 movie review. So what is the Frozen 2 movies? Just has it everybody, everybody know that Frozen 2 movie has a beautiful story plot. It has a wonderful musical movie, you know, I think music, wow, this music is so beautiful in that movie. So let's figure out to the story. So what was in the movie? Yeah. So here's the thing, you know, the Elsa, Elsa is one of the beautiful character in the Frozen thing, okay, you know, I think why? She's, um, had a magic powers and he knows the, how to get this uh, things as to make it perfect. So here's the thing, she got to hear some strange voice from the enchanted forest. So she go to know about that voices. So that's the story begins and that's the whole the story thing is, okay. So go for an Anna, you know, think Anna, she's so great and funny thing and she's like a cute thing. So between the sisters, that's my beautiful sisterhood I'd be explaining in this movie and Olaf. Olaf is one of the great snowman, you know, thing he had a caravan, you know, the others that's running now. He he creates a lot of stuff in this movie, so he make a lot of fun and to hate this make him so love, okay. So this stuff's going around, just go for a Kristoff. How Kristoff's is he just also travels with Anna like in a frozen movie, so frozen one is like in a same stuff but different kind of things as a character in this movie. So go for it. The Kristoff's love proposal things have got to be so funny and he made so super it, okay. So let's be go for the movie thing. Um Anna is the great girl, he's just fun with her sisters, they both get very loved in this and kingdom, so First of all, you know, think Elsa. Elsa hearing a strange voice from the enchanted forest and she go to from that kingdom to search for that voice, why that comes. So she just search for the things all over the story. So there's the story and this thing is so perfect. And the story explains the how did Anna, the, how did the Elsa and Anna become sisters and the story says about that how did Elsa got powers. And this thing is all going to be explained in this movie. So this movie is the beautiful thing. So everybody go and watch it. And I'm I'm just says the thing. This movie gives an uh, one of the best family movie. You know, I think everybody go and watch this movie like on the teenagers to the old one and cute 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 cuties. Okay, so this was think all the people who had just turned the theaters had watched that movie so enjoyable. This movie is one of the best greatest at the time and storyable movie. So this thing is beautiful, man. So let's go and watch that. Uh, Frozen 2, it's now one of the best sequels of the Disney, okay? It's just the sequel of 2013 Frozen movie. So that's it, guys. And I better think this story is a beautiful movie story. So go and watch it and enjoy it, guys. So see you next video. For more videos just like this channel, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon. I'm, this is the Info the Channel and I'm the Shamit guys. See you next video. Today I'm going to have a of chocolates. Okay, everybody says first that chocolate is not good for your health. It just produces your muscle problems to your body and this is that is not already it's not good for your health and just a lot of things is okay. So here's the real thing guys. Yeah. Uh, sure, we got a chocolate. It's a good to do now. You know the thing what was that? Yeah, if you're in a moderate amount of chocolate, it just gives you a lot of health benefits to your whole body and makes your health improve your health. Okay, it's so simple guys. So what you gotta 
say that these things are bad for the your health by some people say it's worse it's bad for your health and that you are think yeah it's right so if you eat a lot of chocolate it's just be bad for your health and it's just bad for your whole body but here's the thing we gotta eat something of a crusting we gotta eat a more amount of chocolates okay just eat a more amount of chocolates it just gotta help you to improve your whole body health uh, I got a list of levels of health benefits of extra chocolates and if you eat it just enjoy it guys okay here we go for another video let's we get into the videos now okay guys that's simple just gonna get out of this video so first thing is What's the chocolates? What kind of chocolates? Okay, if you get a dark chocolates, dark chocolates are just gonna help you to lots of things. Okay, dark chocolates can rise in ions, magnesium, and some of the things like selenium and zinc. Okay, these things are good for your health and just boost your whole body energy levels. So that's the thing. Here's the number one benefit of chocolates. Okay, number two benefits. Okay, the second benefit of chocolate is lots of studies shows that. If you eat much chocolate, it just helps you to control your blood pressure, okay? That's the right thing, guys. Yeah, it's so great, you know. Thank you. Yeah, if you eat a moderate amount of chocolate each day, it just raises your whole body blood pressure, okay? It raises your blood pressure. It means it just controls your blood pressure to the normal level, okay? That's the thing. It's so simple and fascinating and enjoying stuff, okay? So, as we go from the animal thing, what's the animal benefits, okay? You just say that, oh, that's it, man. You're going to say for another bit? Yeah, that's the right thing. It's a uh, very important thing to enjoy that everybody knows about that. Dog chocolate contains as an antioxidant. Okay, every chocolate contains an antioxidant. These antioxidants gonna help you to your body to control your free radical flow. Okay, just gonna help you to protect your body. So here's the number two battery that contains an antioxidant. Okay, here we go for another battery. But worse that here's the thing. Just gonna hear it. The far benefits of a chocolate is it just helps you to improve your brain health. Okay, you know the thing. Who how big a pulse knows where that doctor can help you to improve your brain function. Yeah, here's the right thing. If you eat a dog chocolate, yes, it reduces, it just raises your stress levels, it just raises your cortisol levels and improve your brain functions. Okay, right thing guys. If you eat a chocolate, it just helps you to your brain function. That's great. Oh, here's the benefits of the chocolates, guys. It's gonna help you to the lots of things to your body, it can help you to improve your whole body health. That's it guys, I believe that this video can help you to understand where the chocolates and you want to know about a lot of things is just subscribe to this channel. These are some things from the end of the channel, guys. Here's the best things in version of chocolate, the sweet things in version of chocolate, guys. This guy help you do that whole body health. It's a very healthy food, I thought. Yeah, I say it's a healthy food and just eat a moderate amount of chocolate. Okay, guys, see you next video. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an Anfoli channel and I'm Dakshamati guys. So in this video I gotta talk about uh, garlic, you know, I think garlic is one of the great food around in the world because everybody loves that in garlic, okay? So in this video it talks about the health benefits of the garlic, you know, I think garlic uh, yeah, contains a lot of medicinal properties around. So it contains a lot of medicinal properties, it's just good for your health, okay? That's the thing everybody says it. So here I say it's about what are the benefits in it the garlic okay let's first we talk about in a garlic it's just good for your um, immunity yeah the study shows that it has improve your immunity and it just uh, protect against you from the common cold that's the thing that we eat in a garlic every day so if you eat an everyday garlic it's just good for your health it just protect you prevent you from the cold common cold and it's also give to improve your immunity it just helps you to increase your immunity guys that's what i gotta say it here in this video about like garlic guys so you know think garlics yeah garlic bulb you know think everybody loves that thing because yeah garlic the bulb contains an um chantage mandy gloves okay that's the thing so you eat on a garlic every single day just improve your immunity and the garlic contains an uh, antioxidants no I think antioxidants yeah it talks about a lot of things as an antioxidant so here's the thing garlic is also contains an antioxidant it's just kind of good for your health it just improve your um, immune power and also good for your health okay that's the thing so let's be talk about another thing is garlic's gonna help you to reduce your blood pressure yeah that was great you know think yeah garlic is helps you to reduce your blood pressure it reduces your Diabetes too. That's why you gotta eat any garlic every single day. So it's very interesting stuff. Okay, so it also helps you to improve your sports performance. Yeah, study shows that if you eat any garlic, it increases your performance enhancing. Uh, you know, thing if you eat any garlic supplement, it just helps you to perform good in sports. So that's what I eat in a garlic. Okay, let's we go for another health benefit. What was it? It gets it's so great, you know, I think garlic is good for your bone health, okay? Yeah, that's why it says that. Garlic is also good for your bone health. So, it's uh, good stuff, okay? It also 
wash out flush out uh, heavy metals in your body you know i think yeah you're like a sulfur it just the things is are heavy metals that present in your body it makes some health issues so here the garlic it just helps you to prevent you flushed out that heavy metals in your body so what are the vitamins present in the garlic i gotta say is that it contains vitamin b6 vitamin b1 and it also contains an um, irons and some other products like a potassium like kind of stuff okay it also got except in b1 too these are the health benefits of the garlic guys if you eat a garlic every single day that's good for your health so that's what i'm gonna say in this video guys and i i believe that if you enjoy this video and thanks for watching this video and this is an info day and i'm the shamati guys see you next video hello everyone welcome to my channel this is an info channel i'm the shamati guys so today's video i'm gonna talk about the health benefits of the gingers you know thank gingers yeah it's all the greatest medicinal food around the world that's why i gotta say it here uh, lots of studies shows that just originated from the china so that's why i talk about it so here we say the gingers are the great food so why i gonna say is i think it creates a lot of medicinal properties just gonna good for your health so that's why i gonna say it. you get more ginger every day okay every single day so here's the thing guys ginger contains an um great things is okay what was that it just helps you to prevent you from the type to diabetes that's a great thing yeah if you eat a ginger it just helps you to prevent from the diabetes yeah that's a great thing so he says that it's also good for your digestion okay if you eat a ginger every single day it just helps you to promote your digestion okay and it's also used as a treatment for now uh, stomach upsets okay that's what i gotta say the gingers so let's we go for another thing about the ginger it's so interesting what is this it contains an anti-inflammatory properties okay the anti-inflammatory properties are good things about the ginger so that's why you eat the ginger every day so other thing is what is that yeah that was great it's so good okay it just helps you to prevent you from the muscle soreness okay that's the great stuff about on ginger it just prevent you from the muscle soreness that's great so let's say says about the out of the health benefits of the ginger thing is what else that is good for your digestion just prevent you from the diabetes and it improves your what i think is muscle soreness okay it just reduces your muscle soreness during anti anti-inflammatory properties these are the things about the ginger guys so that's why you kind of say some about ginger sort of the good food for your body so that's it guys i believe that this video is going to help you to understand the health benefits of the ginger guys and and thanks for watching this video. I am Dakshan Mati. This is an Infinity channel. If you like this video, just subscribe to this channel and see you next video. It talks about a very simple strategy how to prevent from the cold. Yeah, we just guarantee it's the time to get a, get a catchy cold every places. So this is the thing. You're going to watch this video. You're going to get a more lots of tips about uh, how to prevent from the cold. Okay. So let's begin into the video. In this video, we say about the six steps to prevent from the cold. Okay. Just going to stick it up and chill at the end. We're going to forget. Like it and subscribe my channel, guys. Okay. So let's begin to the video. So the number one tip is that is yeah, you will take in a supplement. Yeah, number one tip is enough to take a supplement. Yeah. If you eat a supplement, this guy helps you to prevent from the cold because it just kinda helps you. What type of supplement is this? I guess say that the supplement name. Yeah, man, it's so simple. The supplement name is enough vitamin D3. Yeah, vitamin D3 supplement. Just take a vitamin D3 supplement for an uh, every single day. It may help you to cut up the risk of cold, okay? Just gonna help you to get out from the cold it also helps you prevent from the cold so just we take an a vitamin 3 supplement it's a very simple thing so number two tip is just drink a green tea yeah yeah guys just get off the black ovaries and just yeah, drink a tea or green tea these things is gonna help you to prevent from a cold catching so it's a very simple and easy step so just gonna follow it now so this is the second step so let's we go for another third step just we gonna move on that thing is uh, very simple just eat enough fish yeah just just go to the fish yeah if you eat enough fish it may help you to prevent from the cold so in this winter seasons you're gonna eat a lot more fishes it may help you to prevent from catching cold yeah there's a the number third tip so number fourth tip it is here is the number one here is the number two number three now we go for another number fourth tip what is that number fourth tip is just um move away from the people who just get suffered by the cold yeah just keep distance and that's may help you to prevent from the cold yeah there's a very simple tip just watch out your guys watch out the surroundings and just to keep a distance between the people who just gotta catch by the cold so that's number fifth tip it's a very simple tip it's uh just drink a boil water yeah every people says that it's a common tip you are <laughs> yeah you're a nurse that thing just drink a boiled water just drink something hot it may help you to prevent from the cold okay so these are the very important steps and these are the things you're gonna follow in your life to prevent from cold in this winter season so 
here's the sixth tip and the final tip is what was the final tip is it's so simple guys just hum you know thing just do a humming guys humming kind of helps you to increase your nitric acids in your respiratory system so this nitric acid is act as an a protective layer for catchy cold so this is the thing just humming guys just do some hums so it may help you to prevent from the cold it's so funny thing but it's a real thing there's lots of studies just that just do on a humming every day it may help you to prevent from the cold so this is guys i know that it's so simply easy steps is to gonna follow through your daily life to prevent from the cold and these tips are very important steps guys